Pretty excited. Pretty excited. You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. We actually just rotated Austin's tires because we're gonna take that on a trip. I do gotta do brakes on the front of my pickup and those tires gotta get uh, mounted. Bought. Slid in here on concrete. What a, what a life of difference it is. So lights helping out. Very happy with this, but uh, we're gonna go the gooseneck still has something on it, so we gotta go get that off. But let's jump out there and see how far we make it today. That is much better. Look at that. Scrape off some of the dirt, the grass that grew up in the cracks. Have a good pad. So what we gotta do is get that to pick this up. It just barely picks it up. But then we're gonna be able to drive out from underneath. We battled everything this morning from finding the right tools to the gooseneck legs uh, were too low, then the pull-out pieces wouldn't pull out, and yeah, always something, but gaining. Somebody said, why don't you use the blade on the big tracker? Because you can't see what you're doing, and if you grab one of those and pull it through, it just would be such a, such a problem. That little mini that thing's pretty wild. The mini that could. Go up with your blade. Or down, I mean. We got it off. You know, we didn't film any of it. I don't think I messed much up. I don't think I messed anything up, actually. Which I'm surprised by. Okay, parked away, close everything up, and we'll get going. We are rolling. So today took a little longer um, than I expected. A little nervous because I called the gentleman and he didn't even answer, couldn't leave a voicemail. But I got an address. We gotta stop at the bank, get a bank check. And, well, we got the gooseneck. I'm excited. You guys excited? Are you excited? We're all excited. Are you excited? You are... By the way, concrete roads are so good. Yanko can't even sleep back there. So, I'm glad New York is going back away from concrete roads because it is just bumpy. God. Yeah. But rolling into Oneana. We got quite a little bit to go, but it should be some beautiful weather down south, and uh, we'll probably see some action running around. A lot of they're chopping uh, triticale and rye, and even into some grass. A lot of people are planting down in Pennsylvania, so we're still too cold, and it is gonna rain for a week straight. So if I put seed in the ground right now and let it sit there, and this, these bumps are killing me. So sorry, it's all bumpy because. This road is absolutely horrible. 88, they're always working on it, but it always has issues. I don't know why. So, yeah, if I put seed in the ground right now and let it sit there and pretty much get soaked and rot, it would be pretty bad, so. But back to cement. Oh, it's so much smoother. See that? I love it. And I know some people are gonna say, well, U.S. roads aren't that great, blah, blah, blah. This is why the Europeans, I know that. In the Midwest, people are going to say concrete roads are great. Concrete roads that they built in New York all bounce like that. But, yeah, rolling up through here. Brooks Barbecue is right there. If we were a little more ahead of time, we probably should have stopped there. But we're, we're, uh, we're moving. Half mile, we're going to go right. We just stopped at Sheets, got fuel, and got some food. So we are back on the road. We're on behind schedule, that's normal for us though. I've called the guy twice today. The first time they never answered. Um, second time he just answered and he, 
I said, well, we're going to be there probably like 4.30. And his comment to me was, well, I'm leaving at 4.30. Very rude. And he, then his next comment was, you better hurry up. Okay. That's not good. Chicken truck just pulled over here. No chickens on board, but... So, we're stepping down and... I guess we're gonna find out if we make it in time or if this guy's gonna be rude. Um, this deal was off of Facebook and I told him I was coming Thursday. I told him I'd have him cash your check. So, it is what it is. Couple of fence on the move. Five series and a seven series. Um, at least that was that's what it looks like. Just rolled through Harrisburg, um, yeah. We're even further behind. What is this? The Sketch the Skaskahana River or however you say it? I always forget. Skaskahana. I don't know what. Good sized river. Used to come down north there quite a bit. Saskahana River, I believe. But still got an hour and twenty or so minutes and yeah, then we can get the check. They got some beautiful wheat out there. Driving along, most of the stuff's actually planted uh, in corn now that we're down this close to the Maryland border. But what, it's 66 degrees out. They've had a dry spring where we got like nine days of rain coming. So, wheat on both sides of the road. Well, that's pasture, but that's wheat. Well, the guy actually just called me and he said, How close are you? I said, 25 minutes, which we, we're under 25 minutes now. And he said, well, you ain't too far then. And he was in a completely different mood. Earlier, he, he seemed pretty negative um, against me being a little late. Granted, we'll be 45, 15 minutes late. But that is life, like, as we all know. And construction has been absolutely insane. Anytime anybody gets pulled over, literally the road comes to almost a stop. Um, which I don't... It is Pennsylvania. I guess they got more courtesy than like New York and Massachusetts where they blow by at 90 miles an hour still. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for this. So what we're picking up now is not what you guys saw me bidding on the other day. So we got more surprises. Got to figure out that surprise. Um, yeah, things to make my life easier and be able to get done in a timely manner. So Yanko's back here still partying it up. And uh, we're gonna keep moving. We have missed every state sign as we've gone through it, so welcome back to Pennsylvania. We are almost there. And then all, all the way home, so good ride. Grow Mark FS, fertilizer on the move there. So back into Gettysburg, my old stomping ground for those of you who know. Um, I, used to spend, I used to spend some time down this way, and then I also worked down this way. Yeah, five minutes away. That makes sense. So now we realize what's going on. They're going to hunting camp. They're getting loaded up. This place is quite the spread. Older gentlemen. I'm pretty excited. Okay, here we go. We're going to load some things, do some stuff. What'd we get? Twenty-seven fifty-five. 6,800 hours. Came with a plow set up. Came with forks. Thing is, I like it. Good tires. Good loader set up. Everything's clean on it. Three point hitch, two remotes. Ready to rock and roll. Well, I'm very excited about this tractor. The AC does not work. Probably just has a small leak somewhere. We'll charge it and check out what goes on with that. But, uh, yeah, we gave the man a check and we're. Let me make this a little straighter. Right in the middle. $7.55 
55, it's like 88 horsepower. Good little loader tractor, four wheel drive. Very well taken care of. It's warm down here, so the cab is pretty hot. I like that it's got the side shift and everything else like that, like I said. It's got a foot pedal. It's got everything, it's got all the features, so a little bit of love and we'll be in a much better, like this thing's gonna be awesome. Does it have a radio? No. But it's got the speaker covers. So where was the radio at? I wonder. We'll have to figure that out. But it's all here. Somebody that knew him, that listed it, that. Oh, we gotta go back there still. So I'm glad it worked out. I was a little nervous, but it is. It's it's a sweet little tractor. Grew up with that 2155, and that was a good little tractor. But this is uh, quite a bit more horsepower and a lot more comfort than that thing. I'm trying not to drive on his lawn very much, but... You wanna wrap that chain around it? That chain? That chain? Or what's that do? Get straight. Oh, he's gonna move it. Good thing we got muscles here with us. I can't see nothing. She's on. Pulled right up here. Should ride really nicely, actually. This thing is super clean. Cab kit has a tiny little piece in the corner. Clearly, we gotta update the lights. Needs a windshield wiper, stuff like that. Like stuff that if you're not really using it, but very, very clean. Like, I am very excited to have something I'm excited for this. I'm glad I'm glad this worked out and I figured it out and two remotes. This thing might pull the planter. Might struggle a little bit, but not on the hills. But we're gonna see what goes on. So we'll start chaining her down. Bucket, snow plow, forks. We got it all. There's always one thing you gotta do. That's not going anywhere. Neither is any of this stuff. But we're going somewhere. We're going home. We're gonna stop, get some dinner at some point here, near future. Pretty excited, pretty excited we took the stack off. Just, that's all we need to do is hit a bump, have that blow off. Um, got a half tank of fuel, all the, everything's good. We are loaded and we're on the move. Hell of a spread you got here, guy. Like, you know. 
so here we are with some amazing ground down here and yep putting solar panels in that makes absolutely zero sense like it's sad i get people are getting big money to rent solar out and the states are pushing it and whatnot but once it becomes solar like once it's solar it's never going back to farmland i don't i don't care in 20 years if you want to rip out all those posts that ground is junk so neglected ground that gets mowed around and put them on buildings put them on houses put them on stone put them anywhere other than good farm other than farm ground because we're losing it all the time coming back across the river but we're a little bit south this time so that's harrisburg right there um all american show for cattle uh keystone for pulling yeah good times there yanko has been there for the All-American. He was a puppy back then, but we're going to stop, get some food, and then we'll keep rolling. Just got done eating, rechecking everything. You want some dinner? We went to Longhorn. Jump up. Let me open it up. All right. You got some filet. You got filet and you got a little bit of mac and cheese, okay? I forgot dog food. So, he ain't gonna starve, people. He's a good dog. But everything's strapped down. This thing's ready to uh, ready to make it back to Duffy Ag headquarters. I'm pumped for it. I'm really pumped for it. Well, we'll finish up eating. Well, he'll finish up eating. Austin's gonna drive a little longer. There's still some more in there. There's some right there too. And uh, I'm gonna close my eyes for a little bit because we got we got a, quite a little bit of a trip still. We're in Harrisburg. Didn't make it that far. How's dinner? Love you, buddy. He's been very, very good today for being stuck in a truck. But yesterday he partied pretty hard. Pretty good. Well, fueling up. Get us home. Make sure everything's strapped down tight still. Oh yeah. We are golden. What'd you put? 123? That's what I figured. I put 150 on it. We're good. So kinda sad though. This is the only truck that I've seen so far that isn't plastic. Everything else in the line is all plastic trucks, but world we live in. We made it. Made it home. Been all two. It is two a.m. Everything's here. Tractor's looking good. We'll get it unloaded tomorrow and call it good. So I appreciate you guys watching along, like and subscribe, and being part of the channel. I'm excited for this. I'll give a rundown of why I purchased what I did in the next video. Have a good one.